Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to change the fonts of your blogger website. So we'll change the fonts of all these elements like the heading, uh, this heading right here, the font of the date, and even the font of the content of our blog. So in this video, I'll show you how to change the font of all these and we'll also change the font size and uh, some other properties as well. So let's get started. First of all, let's find a good font for our website. So I'll just go to fonts.google.com and these are all free fonts for use. So let's choose one of these fonts from here. You can even select categories over here like uh, if you just want sans serif fonts then you can just disable all the others and you can also select the language over here. Alright, so let's find a font for our website. So we'll use this font called Russo1 for the heading. So we'll just click on that and uh, then we'll just click on select the style and then we'll go back and uh, we'll select one more font. We'll select this font called Elata and uh, we'll just click on select this style. Then go to this option called view your selected families and here we can see we have these two fonts over here. So now we need to find some way to add these fonts to our website. So we'll go to embed and here we can see we have two options. We can use the link so the link is for the HTML or in our case the XML file and the import is for the CSS. So you can use any of these. I'll just use link and I'll just copy this uh, line of code from here. Now let's go to our blogger dashboard and uh, we'll go to theme and then go to this options button and then click on edit HTML. And inside the head tag over here, you can just paste your line of code. So here's the line of code to add our uh, Russo 1 and uh, Alata fonts to our website. So let's click on save. And we can see we have some error over here that is on line 9. That is this line over here. Now the problem is that when you are writing ampersand in XML file, you have to write ampersand AMP semicolon. And we'll also close this link tag over here like this. Alright, so let's click on save. We have one more ampersand over here. Alright, now our theme is saved successfully. Now let's go to our website and uh, let's see what is this heading called in our markup? So right click over here and go to inspect. And we can see this is an H1. And if you go to the styles over here, we can see that it is inside a class called header. So we'll just copy this selector from here. And uh, we'll go over here and uh, just find the end of your styles. So if you scroll down, we can see that these are all the styles and uh, this is where the style ends. So just search for this uh, B skin ending. So you can just type control F and then search for B colon skin. Now once you find that, just go ahead and uh, paste the selector over here. And uh, now here we can add our font family. So we'll just type font family and the font was called Russo1. And we'll type sans serif. Alright, now let's click on save and uh, see whether the font is working. And we can see that the font has changed and uh, we have the new updated font over here. Now you can do the same with all the other elements over here. Let me just show you a couple more. So now we'll change the fonts of the headings of these uh, posts over here. So we'll just right click over here and click on inspect. And this one is an S3 and inside that we have an anchor tag. So let's go down to the CSS and here we can see this is the selector. So let's select that and copy it. And uh, we'll just paste it over here. And inside curly braces, we can just type in our uh, styling. So for this one, we'll change the font to Alata. So we'll type font family Alata sans serif. 
So let's save this and uh, let's see whether the font has changed. And we can see the font of these headings have changed. Now I have this extension for Google Chrome called What Font. So if you just click on that and here if you hover over this uh, heading we can see we have the font and uh, even here we have the font Russo 1. So you just have to right click on any of the element you want to change the fonts and then copy the selector and paste it over here in the edit HTML and change the fonts. I'll just quickly change the font of one more thing. So we'll change the font of uh, the text inside this search box. So we'll right click over here and click on inspect. And here we can see we have a class called search input. And in that we have the input element. So let's select that and click on copy. And we'll go to edit template and we'll paste the selector over here. And let's set the font to Elata and save this. So let's refresh. And now we can see that the font has changed. So that's basically how you change the fonts of your blogger website. Now along with changing the fonts, you can even do other things like change the color of the fonts change the size of the fonts, add a background color and all those things. So let's go to the CSS and we'll go to our H1 and we'll just change the color of the font to yellow and we'll save it. And now here we can see that the color of our heading 1 has changed to yellow. Now in the same way I'll just add some styling to this heading as well. So this is the post title. So let's add a background color of F2, F2, F2 and uh, we'll give a padding of 8 pixels and 24 pixels and uh, color of the text to black and border bottom of 1 pixels solid black and let's save this and uh, let's refresh our page. And we can see that the background color, the border bottom and all those things have been set for these elements. So that's basically how you change the fonts of the elements inside your blogger website. Now if you go over here to the customize option and if you go to advanced, you have some options over here as well. So let's go over here and uh, let's select blog title and you can change the fonts over here as well. So click on that and uh, you will have a bunch of fonts over here to select from. So let's select one of these. And now the font of this blog title should change. But right now since we have added the CSS, uh, it is not being changed. So let's go back and go to edit HTML. And let me just delete all these styles. And we'll go back to customize and go to advanced and uh, we'll select block title and now here we can go ahead and uh, change these fonts so we'll select this font right here and we can see that the font of the block title has changed and in the same way we have these options like changing the size of the fonts changing the color the background color and all so if you go over here we have different options like changing the font colors and attributes of the links we can change the backgrounds so here you can see tab, text, post, search, popular posts and all these different options are there. And instead of adding CSS directly to the theme code, you can add your CSS right here as well. So click on add CSS and add the CSS right here. So these are basically the two ways in which we can change the font of our blogger website. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video, Please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.